Are you thinking about relocating to Vancouver Island to buy a beautiful waterfront property overlooking the Salish Sea? There's a few different factors you need to consider, such as location, water access, flood risk, and a myriad of other considerations that you may not have thought of. Come with me as we break down these different factors when you buy a waterfront home here in Nanaimo, British Columbia. Now, before we get started, if you have a second, give us a like or subscribe. It lets us know what we're doing you like and you want to see more of it. Now, without any further ado, let's check out these spectacular waterfront properties. The east coast of Vancouver Island gets the most spectacular sunrises in all of Canada. Rising over the coastal mountains on the mainland, it bays the Strait of Georgia and the Gulf Islands with the most beautiful light. This view is truly worth its weight in gold, and it's not hard to understand why people pay a premium for these properties. However, there are some factors you need to consider before buying one of these beautiful estates. The first consideration when buying a waterfront home is what type of access to the beach do you want to have? High bank waterfront or walk-on waterfront? Here in Nanaimo, we primarily have high bank waterfront, though there are some notable exceptions. The benefits of having high bank waterfront is that it's a lot less expensive. It also means you don't have to worry about flooding due to storm surges. And most importantly, it also means that you don't have all the horrible weather, the cold wind that can blow in from the Pacific Ocean right into the front door of your home. Now the setbacks of having high bank waterfront are the fact that you need to possibly come down hundreds of feet to access your beach. And the other setback is you could see erosion along the embankment. You may have started with high bank waterfront, but over time you may end up with walk-on waterfront without necessarily intending on doing so. Walk-on waterfront is by far the most expensive of the two, and it's an experience that very few people get to have during this lifetime. Getting up in the morning and going for a walk on your beach, grabbing your kayak and going for a paddle across the bay is one of the best ways to start your mornings. Also looking out your front window and seeing the different birds and wildlife, sea animals swimming in the waters in front of you is one of the best things to bring a calm sense of peace to your soul. I can't tell you how much I enjoy watching the sea lions swim in the bays. Some of the things you need to consider as a setback of walk-on waterfront though are the higher costs associated with property insurance and property taxes. It also means that you need to start considering things such as storm surges and flooding. But finally, one of the more annoying things that can come up with walk-on waterfront is the public access factor. You could be planning a beautiful day with your family just in your backyard overlooking your beach and people are showing up with towels and stereos through the public access causing a nuisance in front of your home. And this can be one of the worst things about having walk-on waterfront. The second question that you need to ask yourself about a waterfront property is what type of beach do you want to have access to? A rocky beach or a sandy beach? Here in Nanaimo, we primarily have rocky beaches. Though there are some notable exceptions in the north of Nanaimo, Dover Bay has some beautiful expanses of sandy beaches that you could walk on for hours. It is breathtaking going here with your family on a beautiful summer day. Now, if you are looking for walk-on, waterfront with sandy beaches, you need to go north. You need to start looking towards places like Parksville, Qualicum, or French Creek. These places all have great properties with walk-on waterfront and some of the most beautiful beaches you have ever seen on Vancouver Island. Now the third thing you need to consider about buying a waterfront property is what type of location are you considering? A city location or a more rural location? Nanaimo has multiple different posh neighborhoods with beautiful homes overlooking the ocean. However, me personally, I much prefer the more rural settings such as Yellow Point or Cedar by the Sea. These are expansive coastlines with beautiful rainforests and views overlooking all of the Gulf Islands. I can't tell you how beautiful it is down here. You really need to see it for yourselves. The fourth consideration you need to think about with a waterfront property is the maintenance and upkeep. 
warm, salty, moist air is going to be constantly permeating your property. This is going to cause wood to swell and buckle. This is going to cause metal to corrode and the seals in your windows to rot out over time. And the cost of replacing these items can be quite high, especially when you're comparing to what you would normally do for a maintenance schedule on a home that isn't on the ocean. Think about this closely. Living on the ocean may be beautiful, but it comes with a cost of maintenance. The fifth and final consideration you want to think about when buying a waterfront property is whether or not you have a boat and if you want to moor it in front of your property. There's multiple different locations that have government restrictions on whether or not you can park your boat in front of your home. And if you're planning on having a docking system, this can be a complete nightmare for permits. Even if the home already has a dock in it, you want to check very carefully whether or not that dock can continue to exist or if it was installed legally. Now, if you do have a boat and you can't park it at your property, keep in mind, we're on an island. There's more marinas than you can possibly imagine in Ladysmith, Nanaimo, Nanoose. Parksville. Just look around. It really isn't an issue to park it off your property, but if you are going to spend the money on a waterfront home, I'd much rather have my boat right in front of my property. Tell me your I hope you get to live the island life soon, and if you want to learn more about doing so, I'd definitely check out this video right here, or this video right here.